a Dolby Atmos again on, on Amazon. It's, it's wild, man. It's I just listened to some of the Neil Young stuff. I know it's been on there for almost a year now, but it sounds better than vinyl or the Blu-ray or the, the archives version that's on, on the, uh, the Neil Young um, streaming service. Anyhow. And <coughs> Who's Next has been up there for a little while, and I don't have to spend 200 bucks on the fucking box set. But anyways, this, this video is more about the state of my rig right now. Notice that the bat's missing. It's up for sale right now. Uh, it's on USA Audio Mart. Um, I put it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, anybody wants to buy it, any, any, any of you guys, remember, it's been totally refurbed by the factory. The display has been fixed. New power supply in it, um, all new um, 6H30 tubes in it. I've got the receipts for everything. Um, asking prices on USA Audio Mart. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, i got to update the price. Um, anyhow, because of the fatness of these KT170 tubes that I've been running, there's no need for the, t the tube um, preamp anymore. I, I can just run everything off the Onkyo. And what I did was those these switch boxes that I bought last year. I basically took the XL the single XLR input that's on the Onkyo. I run it in pure direct mode, and basically plug all my XLR inputs through the R, through these switch boxes, basically extending the single XLR input to now a triple essentially. I've got a spare one in there, but right now I can I'm running the um, phono preamp on one input and on the other input is the DAC and I don't miss the preamp whatsoever I've got a phantom center where you know sound stage is amazing and again when you run these AV preamps the good ones pure direct is exactly that it bypasses all the digital ADCs and, and DACs and all that other crap you know, but as soon as you engage the tone controls, that's all, you know, null, null and void. Now you're, you know, basically coloring everything with the tone controls, which I don't believe in, as you guys know. And, yeah, I, this thing makes one... I've never really tried the preamp function in this, like as a two-channel, pure direct, but I'm amazed. So, yeah, the bat's up for sale, you know. Uh, originally, I'd only bought it for when Kurt gave me all those 1053s, and I was biamping the cavity coupled woofers with the Parts Express 1000 watt uh, Class D amp. And in the top section, I was running with Leo's old Orchard Audio, um, the star little Star Crimson ones. And again, always I like to mention that I like I used to blow them up. And yeah, it's just um, the the other thing too is the transport's missing because no sooner did the DAC come back, I had to send the transport out because it, I'm getting some noise issues, and not not due to the drive motor. The the the, the transport part of it's fine. Display's working and all that good stuff. I think it's a little parched. I need another one of these. And um, yeah, so. Transports over at PS Audio getting looked at, and they basically told me if they can't fix it, it's going to basically get shipped back to me in as is condition because the parts availability for a lot of that stuff, you know, it's just not around anymore. But just fine, I've got the Sony, you know, that's that's always been my backup, five years running strong, no issues. So, you guys know I've got that Duke um, U2 Pro um, USB to optical SPDIF RCA and I2S output adapter and the thing's great but I never really played with the I2S portion of it but I figured well I've got an extra input on the DAC now or an unused input on the DAC so I might as well give it a shot so I set it all up got it working um, Friday night and got it working Friday night and it sounded great I mean or no the one thing you're thinking well if the DAC's got a USB input 
why not just run it like you've been running it all the time? USB out from the Apple Mac Mini, straight into the DAC, and away you go. Well, that's fine. But I noticed that when I ran it with the USB to I2S adapter, it's a little bit, um, how can I say it? With the, the USB is fine, right? Maybe it's in my head, but PSE over PCM, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Paul McGowan said it in the videos. It's just like DTS and, and AHD. It's basically a PCM wrapped in a DTS bitstream. PSE over PCM is exactly that. You're sending a PCM, or sorry, a BSE signal through a PCM pipe and then encoding it on one side, decoding it on the other side. Fair enough. But if I get, if I can run I2S, well, even better. Well, ran it, um, had to wiggle the power connector because I think when you're using I2S now, PS Audio forms are a gold mine for this kind of stuff. Gentleman last year bought one of these to compare it with the Matrix USB to I2S adapter, which is, of course, four times the price as one of these things. And he basically, he liked it, but there were some issues. Um, you had to cut track six, uh, pin 15. You had to cut the track um, basically to get rid of the, um, the pre-emphasis on the PCM stuff. That's when you get all the distortion and shit when you switch from BSD files to PCM files. So I did that and fixed the problem, but I couldn't, I kept getting only one channel of audio in BSD. And of course the PCM noisy thing happening, telling me that the preemphasis is still on when it wasn't. Well, wiggling the little five volt connector all of a sudden fixes it, fixed it. And if I don't breathe on it and I don't touch it, it's fine. Like right now you can see it's all lit up, um, but I had to take it out of the case. That was the other weird thing. When I put it in the case, I'd lose the channel again, take it out of the case, everything was fine. Both channels worked. PCM, BSD, no problems. But BSD channels were reversed. Fuck. So what do I do? I go straight to the input of the switch box here and basically reversed the left and right from the DAC in and also from the phono preamp in. Now if I'm going to rip any vinyl it's not a big deal because going out from the preamp into there is still left to left, right to right. Just um, coming out from the preamp into the switch boxes and then into the actual is reversed. That's great for my vinyl for my BSD files. Guess what? Now the fucking PCM is reversed, but analog, right? So I thought, well, I've got that I2S adapter board, the blue one, you know, back from when I did the original uh, Sony mods here, right? So I had two I2S outputs. One was for PCM, one was for BSD. Get the channels corrected. And now with the new BSD I2S boards, I adapters, there's just a jumper on there. You solder the jumper and your channels, channel reversal issue is gone and your PCM is also, the pre-emphasis is turned off so you don't have any issues. Great, so, but now what the fuck do I do with this situation? Well, I went on YouTube, or eBay, sorry, found another adapter basically, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna I've got a picture that I'm gonna post in this video. Parts are just ordered today, so who knows from China how long it's going to take. Could take two weeks, could take two months. Basically what I'm going to do is, the output of the, the, YouTube, the Duke U2 Pro goes into this interface that's I2S HDMI in, and then it's got the six pin connector, which I've got, on the output side, which is also I2S, goes into this blue board, and I just have to crisscross two wires on it, fix the channel reversal, and PCM goes through as is. 
we'll see how that goes. And that's basically the state of my system right now. You know, with the three T one seventies, as I said, super thick, super warm. Treble airiness is there. It just depends on the tracks. Um, Preamp is on sale, or for sale, sorry. Onkyo is my thing now. Um, I mean, I would love to get my hands on the big Sony, what's that, the ZA7000 or something, that Andrew Robinson and a whole bunch of people uh, reviewed last year. Problem with that thing, though, is there's no pre-outs. Because I really, really want to use that 360 uh, audio tech because... Amazon has 360 files. I think Momentary Lapse of Reason is one example, even though I've got the the um, the Blu-ray and all that stuff. And really, guys, that's another short one. You know, state of my system. I'm using an AV preamp as my two-channel preamp. You can believe that. And that's it, guys. Have a good rest of your week, and bye for now. And again. Happy May 2 4 up north, Victoria Day, I guess we could call it. All right, guys, take care. Bye for now. And cheers. <laughs>